Please be seated comfortably as we continue our Lent meditation this week on the seven lost words of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will look today at the fourth of these words and offer a short reflection before meditating on them. Quiet your minds and hearts as you enter into the presence of God. Father Almighty, as we meditate on our Lord Jesus' lost words, we pray to be able to hear your voice and your will for us. Now, the fourth of the seven lost words of our Lord, from the Gospel of Mark. When the sixth hour came, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabach, Thani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? These words uttered by our Lord must be the most anguished cry ever recorded in human history. It has the power to shock and sadden us, even today, centuries later and to lead us to question what is going on. Can God forsake God, light forsake light? Can the one who is begotten not made, be forsaken by the Father, maker of all things, visible and invisible? This is a cry of abandonment that brings us, as Pope Francis says, to the heart of our Lord's passion. The sufferings of the body, in the beatings, flogging and crowning with thorns, and in the end, the cruelty of the crucifixion. The sufferings of the soul, in the betrayal of Judas, denials of Peter, jeering and rejection of the crowd. Despite this, Jesus must have felt certain that his father was close by. Now, however, the unthinkable has taken place. The cry of his forsakenness is the most searing of all sufferings, because it is the suffering of the Spirit. At his most tragic, Jesus experiences abandonment, when his father drives a wedge between them, something completely alien to both their beings. Put yourself in our Lord's place and imagine his horror. He sees the gates of heaven close, finds himself at the bitter edge, the shipwreck of life, the collapse of certainty, and he cries out, Why God, why? In those words, Jesus actually cries out the opening of Psalm 22, written in a time before him. There, the psalmist expresses the anguish of King David when he felt hopelessly abandoned by everyone, including God, saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer and by night, but I find no rest. But, inasmuch as the cry from Jesus may shock us, it also has the power to comfort and save us in our darkest hour, when we find ourselves broken and utterly desperate for whatever reason, something we might all be likely to encounter at some point. When that happens, to help ourselves or others we know are suffering, deal with the pain of hopelessness, that there is no way out, we would do well to remember the power behind Jesus' cry, so as not to fall into the ruin which the devil plots on everyone who feels abandoned by God. This power lies in grasping the Father and Son's sacrifice for our redemption. In order to give us salvation, our Father had to painfully separate Himself from His Son, putting distance between them. And abandonment was the price Jesus had to pay for us. He took all our sins on himself and suffered forsakenness and died, so that we might know what a terrible thing it is for human nature to be without God, to be stripped of God's consolation, so that we would not have to pay for it ourselves and suffer God's wrath. 
As humanly fearful as Jesus was, he did this for me. For you, as Pope Francis says, because whenever you or I, or anyone else, are pinned to the wall, lost in a blind alley, plunged into the abyss of abandonment, sucked into a whirlwind of so many whys without an answer, there is still hope. Jesus himself. For you, for me. Do not think it is the end, because Jesus was there, and even now, is. So that each of us might be able to say, in my failings, in my desolation, whenever I feel betrayed, cast aside, or forsaken, in my darkest hour, let me think of Jesus, who was abandoned, betrayed, and cast aside, in his darkest hour. There, we will find his light. When I am lost, when I feel I can't go on, amid all my unanswered questions of why, he is there. Now, let's spend some time to meditate on this lost word of the Lord, how he willingly suffered forsakenness for us on our behalf. Now recall any time in the past when you may have felt that God was not there for you. Share your feelings with Jesus, then and now. Ask for his healing, if you need it. With this, we end our meditation. This week, do continue with your personal reflection on how God and Jesus had to bear abandonment to redeem us. Let us now conclude, as we pray together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.